Hi everyone, so I just got back from Madison um, visiting my niece Selena who is um, graduating this weekend with her masters and so we, me and the boys and Ruby went to go visit her for a little bit last night and we just got back home two days ago. So I just got a notification that I will be um, getting my sofas. It's being delivered to me soon, very, very shortly. So my uh, boys and I, we like pretty much went on a rampage to clean up all of their toys and move all the sofas um, out of the way so that they can set up the one of the sofas. Now, I am only getting one sofa delivered. The other sofa is um, currently missing at the moment. Pottery Barn has no idea where where it is. Nobody has an idea where the second sofa is. So they need to figure that out. Um, let's just say that it took them eight months just to deliver my sofas. And this is my first and last time that I will ever buy anything from Pottery Barn, you guys. It was such a horrible experience. And I... If I could go back in time, I really would. I, I, I don't think I would ever purchase anything from Pottery Barn. But the reason why I chose them is because they have great reviews. And I get it, you know, COVID-19 played a huge factor in the delay of my sofas. But, I mean, eight months and still no sofas and one of them is missing and no one knows how, no one has an idea where it is. Um, it, to me, that's very unacceptable. So... Yes, you guys, if if you guys are experiencing something similar, please comment below and let me know um, your story because I would love to hear it and maybe we can, I don't know, just connect. <sighs> I'm just so frustrated. So anyways, that's another story, um, but I am very excited. Finally, after eight months, I'm getting one of the sofa. I'm very nervous just because of my horrible experience with Pottery Barn. I'm not sure how this delivery is going to be like, but um, yeah, in the meantime, when during the time that we're waiting for my sofas to arrive, I'm just going to do a little bit of a cleanup around the house and yeah. <laughs> Here is one of my two sofas that got just got delivered like literally two minutes ago and it is so gorgeous I love it been waiting eight months for this moment and here is the Buchanan roll slipcover sofa by Pottery Barn and I love the cushion. It's nice and firm, which was why I chose specifically chose this style and um, cuz you can actually customize it to however you want it and I chose the I don't even know what the type of cushion it's called now. It's been so long, but the cushion is firm and it's so it's not going to leave too much of a dent um, which is good because then it can keep its original form and shape in place. Now I have to go buy a steamer and get out all the wrinkles down on the bottom. Um, yeah, so I just need to wait on the second one. Again, I bought a quantity of two, so the exact same one as this one. And I'm going to put the, the second one over here on this side but of course it's missing and Pottery Barn doesn't 
have an idea of where it is. Hopefully, um, when I call them on Monday, they can get that resolved for me. So, anyways, um, here it is. I'm so excited. Now, you guys are probably wondering what my plans are for these two um, sofas. Now, this bigger one right here, I'm still going to keep up here for now. But when my husband comes back from fishing, I'm going to move this love seat down to the basement so that um, the kids can go down there and play and jump on it. So it is their sofa. They can jump on it now and pretty much do whatever they want. But I need to clean it out because because you guys look this is so messy like no, look how dirty it is and that's why it's not even worth um selling it because we never washed it and um we just kind of said even if like if we get the new sofas in we're just gonna throw it away but instead of throwing it away we are moving it to the basement instead for the kids grayson can you get up please so anyways here's all the like crumbs and stuff so we have to do a little bit of a detailing of the sofas before we actually move it down to the basement because we don't want um it attracts bugs and stuff down there so anyways yep and if you guys are wondering i think i got quite a bit of questions about where i got these old ones these um sofas from and i got them for a total of twelve hundred a thousand two hundred dollars from target online um, it is, it, it gives off like a little bit of a purple tint to it, and then an actual gray, so it's like a purple gray tint, um, but it is gray. It's just, you know, at the old house, it, it match, it match the decor of our old house because our house, um, interior walls were gray, and the theme that I was going for at that house was gray, black, and white, um, more gray than black and white and also gold and silver accents but now with this new house everything is going to be white black white and black um with a bit of you know the the natural wood accent like my like my um bar shoes here that i got from amazon um and my chairs and my table that i got from tj maxx and of course the kids already made a mess right there but anyways i love this sofa you guys i just like i said i've been waiting um eight months for them or for for it to arrive actually just to have it in my house um so super excited you guys i can't wait i'm gonna leave now and just kind of put the video cam on and just have you guys watch me kind of get everything a little bit more situated in this in this room here so